y'all um welcome back to mom at the dark where today is not dark but you know let me adjust y'all let me hurry up because my camera is on the verge of dying <sighs> not in no way shape overwhelmed with being a mom being a parent it's just very different it's very different being a parent is very different because y'all i used to rip i used to run i used to not even pay bills properly like i used to did not care if something gets cut off i had no kids no responsibilities no absolutely nothing nothing to worry about like i was living life on the edge but now that i do have a child i can't live like that and i've been doing good i properly pay my bills nothing has ever been cut off grace of god i was paying my bills i wanted to talk about mommy meltdowns because you know a lot of people have mommy meltdowns and i'm gonna read off this post that i see on facebook and it says mommy meltdowns are so real your kid is whining for no reason story will whine and whine and whine for no reason y'all sometimes it in the beginning it used to drive me crazy because my child is nonverbal. but you know just because you make one don't mean you're supposed to just flat out start having conversation like us but as she was like one and a half pushing two i'm like okay you know why my child is just not talking we can't communicate so the meltdowns was time of 10 because it's like she knows what she wants to say and it's like you know she just can't say it and it used to make me break down because of it's like i want to communicate with you so bad pool but i just can't because we it's no it, there's no communication like we can't we don't know how to communicate with each other there we go we don't we didn't know how to communicate communicate with each other so i used to melt down and i used to have my mommy moments where you know i did need a break i did need a breather i didn't need to step back because it, it's work especially when you have a child who is like nonverbal, autistic like it's the work and i'm not claiming my child to be autistic just yet because we did do our eight all testing and it's no diagnosis nothing set in stone so you know I just say she's just nonverbal for right now. So, toys everywhere. The toys everywhere drove me bananas. It's like every time I pick up, you mess up. I pick up, you mess up. I pick up, you mess up. And that right there alone, like really, especially if you are a neat freak, a clean freak. I'm not a neat freak. I'm not a clean freak, but I do like stuff in a certain place. It will really drive you to a meltdown sometimes. You have to be patient with kids, though. You have to be very patient. Um, toys everywhere and a to-do list. Them to-do list be so long. <laughs> they do. Like washing the clothes, um, cleaning, making sure the room is clean, picking up the toys, giving baths, especially if you have multiple kids. It can be hard on you. I don't have multiple kids. I just have one kid and it's still like, my one is like 10 sometimes. And I just be like, oh child, you can mess up a whole house as if all your cousins didn't spend the night. And they didn't. It's crazy. Yes, you got food that needs to be cooked, clothes that need to be folded. I just said that. Holiday times, especially like, you know, sometimes when times is hard, the holiday times do heighten those mommy meltdowns. Because it's like, okay, you got to impress this broke-ass toddler. That is just broke as fuck, but you just want to make them happy. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Yes, you do get overwhelmed. You get tired. But all in all, I don't complain about motherhood because it's kind of like what I signed up for. Like when I laid down and had that child, I signed up for all of these things. It comes with the territory. And I don't think that's what a lot of people get. Like most of this stuff, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to feel like, you know, you just can't. But you you can. You can. You can do it. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. <laughs> um, but it comes with the territory. Um, if you can't handle the territory, I always say give your child to somebody that you know will do right by them that doesn't make you less of a parent it just gives your child um it's just you giving trying to give your child a better life some people won't agree with that statement but you know if you can't do it you can't do it like if you tried and tried and you just feel like you can't do it you just that's give your child to somebody you know that can do it and they'll have a better life so you're not hurting harming doing anything to the child because this territory does get overwhelming and you will drop to your knees not knowing what your next move may be sometimes and you got to push through and if you feel like you can't push through step back 
and let somebody in and let somebody help you i have a hard time with letting people in i have a hard time with letting people help me because like i said it does get overwhelming i am a a mom of a child who has occupational therapy she has speech therapy she had she had physical therapy but we're about to get her back into physical um physical therapy because i feel like the company i was going through discharged my child too early so we we're about to get her back in that but you know going to all those therapy sessions and my child does not cooperate my baby go do not cooperate with any of her therapy or therapists she doesn't cooperate in any of her sessions sometimes her sessions is like hit or miss sometimes she'll do what they say most times she won't story wants to do what story wants to do when she wants to do it and we're trying to break her out of those bad habits um because i've been letting her do her thing for so long because you know like i said the communication barrier between me and her <laughs> it wasn't there and it was kind of like i was giving her anything she wanted just so she wouldn't have those meltdowns so i wouldn't melt down because she's not she's melting down you know so we're trying to break those habits now with therapy um it gets overwhelming for me we wake up six o'clock in the morning most days to start our days with therapy and you know sometimes it does take a village to raise kids no nobody is able to take her to the therapy sessions but when i come home you know my mom takes story in the room at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and makes story take a nap or you know holds her for like about an hour or two in the bed make her relax and chill and then that gives me time to think breathe because the the half the time I, I will only get a break when, if story goes to sleep and story like was not sleeping with me at home for some reason i don't know why you know but um it takes a village and every mommy deserves a break i feel like definitely deserves every mommy i, I definitely feel like every mommy deserves a break um in any way shape or form so if you have a friend and you know they need a break go over for like an hour or you know hey you know do their laundry offer some help because it's not a lot of people out here just don't have help a lot of people out here just don't have support and it's sad it's very very sad so you know if you have a friend just go ahead and help any way necessary that you can you know but mommy meltdowns are definitely real and sometimes it, the territory gets very overwhelming that's all i can say but yeah that's my take make sure you guys like comment subscribe you already know the vibes and sorry for the quick rant but my camera's dying and i have to get a mom at the dark video out so yes make sure y'all subscribe to my podcast um it's all in one my podcast and my vlogs are all in one i hope you guys are enjoying my vlogmas vlogs i am on day 16 i should be posting day 16 today on top of this um because it's december 16th on top of this podcast my friday podcast and whatnot so yes i'm gonna actually finish off so yes i'm gonna actually finish off this podcast on top of my vlogmas video so make sure y'all catch my vlogmas <laughs>